What's up you guys, it's Cody Cohen back at you with another video. And today we're gonna try and fix the hard steering on the 7.3 Power Stroke with the 40 inch tires. See if we can make it turn a little easier just by adding a little bit of a fluid I'll go over with you guys in a second. All right guys, so I'm coming at you from inside the 7.3 Power Stroke. Today we're gonna be adding a fluid. Like I said, I'll go over with you guys. I left it over there on the floor, but anyways, we're gonna add this fluid to the power steering, which is hopefully gonna make the steering easier. Now, before I got the 14 inch lift, believe it or not, the steering was actually much harder than it is now. And I will go over with you guys why I think that is. There's a steering component down there that I'll show you guys that I think is the reason why the steering is actually easier now with the 14 inch lift, even though we didn't do a hydraulic ram assist, we didn't upgrade the power steering pump, we didn't change anything about that, but the steering is actually easier. As you can actually see, with 40 inch tires, I can turn with one hand, and I could not do that before with the 37s. I could not turn the steering wheel with one hand at a complete stop with the 37 inch tires. Now we have 40 inch tires and I can turn the steering wheel at a dead stop. I can turn the wheels easier than I could with the 37s. Like I said, I'll show you guys why I think that is down under the truck in a bit. But for now, we're just gonna go ahead and add the fluid. Let me grab it, let me grab now, it. This is our fluid, our coil. Pretty sure it's how you pronounce it. Our coil, AR9100 friction modifier, okay? Let me get you guys, there you go. This is what we're gonna be adding. Now I saw a video from Power Stroke Help where he talked about adding just about just a little bit of that in your power steering and actually making people's uh, power steering turn 10 times easier. Now, I watched YouTube videos on it, read through the comments of that video and read through the reviews on this and it was kind of mixed. There were some people saying there was no difference and some people saying there was a huge difference in their steering. So this might not even work on my truck. It just seems to work on some trucks and not others. I do know that these trucks take automatic transmission fluid for the power steering not power steering fluid so that could be i mean some people might put power steering fluid in this not knowing that and that could be the difference between whether or not this works i i'm pretty sure we have automatic transmission fluid i got the power steering pump rebuilt when i got the truck uh i mean replaced actually and i know he put automatic transmission fluid in it this was before i was making videos and doing all my own upgrades so we have automatic transmission fluid and we're gonna add a little bit to this and then come back in here and see if the steering is easier and then we'll probably also drive and put about 10 miles on the truck and then test it again and see if it gets any better because it might take some time for it to kick in all right so let's go ahead and uh kill the truck and oh use the remote start so gotta do that pop the hood and let's go add our fluid and see if it makes a difference gotta jump down <clears throat> now real quick let me go over with you guys why I think the steering is easier now after we got the 14 inch lift and put 40s on. This is my, now this is just my kind of guess. I, uh, this is what I'm thinking. This right here comes off of my steering shaft. So I'm not sure if that's exactly what it's called, but that right there is what turns when I turn the steering wheel. This arm turns and turns this piece, which goes across over there and then ties in to this piece which turns this wheel at the same time as that one now this right here i think that since this is new and dropped down for the lift it put this steering arm or whatever it's called at the correct angle closer to stock what i think happened with this truck and maybe be the issue with a lot of you guys that have lifts and hard steering i think that when people do lifts under a certain size like six to eight inches if you do a lift smaller than that they use that stock they use the stock steering arm right here this thing right here they use the stock one so basically your axle drops and everything comes down and this is going to tie in up here and this bar right here is going to be at a much steeper angle with a six to eight inch lift and the factory steering arm or whatever that angle is gonna make it a lot harder for your power steering pump to move everything and turn your wheels. But after I got the 14 inch lift on, they put this drop down one on and it repositioned this bar to a better angle and it's actually easier to turn the truck now and turn the steering wheel again with 40 inch tires than it was with the old lift and 37 inch tires. So that's my guess, that's what I think happened. 
you know, check into that. If you guys have hard steering, that might be your problem and you might need one of those drop down uh, steering arms. So just wanted to point that out real quick. Okay, so we're up in the uh, engine bay. Now, basically it seems as though we should only need to add about an ounce of this to the power steering to make a difference according to the reviews and stuff that I read. So I don't really have a measuring scale for that, at least not on me. So I'm just gonna add one to two capfuls. This little cap right here will maybe add one to two capfuls. This is a eight fluid ounce. So if this whole thing, oh, there's a measuring scale on the side. Okay. So we're at about eight ounces right now. We're gonna add two ounces and put it to six ounces. Maybe a little less than, than uh, two full ounces. Let's get the power steering cap off. Our level is pretty good. It's a little low, but um, not low enough to make the power steering bad or anything. And it is red, so I can see it's definitely automatic transmission fluid. Now let's try and get our two ounces in here without spilling. Let's see how much that is. Now that's about a half an ounce. This is actually probably gonna bring us right up to level, so that works. All right, that's two ounces. I went two full ounces kind of on accident. Didn't really want to do two full ounces, but oh well. Let's test this out. Gotta jump. All right. Like I said, it might take a a little while to kick in. I'll turn the steering wheel a little bit, get it, get the fluid running through, and then maybe I'll drive it for a little bit, and we'll see if we can tell a difference. Right now, I wouldn't say I could tell too much of a difference. Maybe it might be kicking in more and more. Actually, to be honest with you, this is getting easier and easier. Yeah, maybe. Kind of about the same. Like I said, let's go for a drive. See if we can get those fluids kicked in see if we tell a difference. Pretty easy to turn, it might have made a difference already. It's working in there, I mean, this is like, I mean, it's pretty easy. Might have made a difference. really made a difference you guys I mean 40 inch tires factory steering pump power steering pump let me come to a complete stop even put it in park so you guys know I'm stopped let me roll the windows up so you can hear me all right complete stop let's see if we notice a difference oh yeah definitely notice a difference I mean it's not like we added hydraulic ram or anything or oh man definitely a difference I mean one finger with 40 inch tires Look at that. Doesn't hurt to try it out, you guys, if you're interested. I, I, I definitely notice a difference. Again, it's not amazing. Like, we added some crazy aftermarket part. But definitely, definitely can tell a difference with just two ounces. And the rest you can throw in your oil. You know? Two, two things in one. Oh yeah, that's nice. So for those of you guys that are really interested, this is a eight ounce bottle. They have two different sizes. They have an eight ounce and a 16 ounce that I saw on Amazon. 
this eight ounce bottle was $30. It's a little pricey, but like I said, you can put two ounces in your power steering fluid and you can dump the other four, uh, six ounces in your engine oil. Uh, that's all I need, especially since I already have RevX oil additive in my truck and we're just gonna add the other six ounces remainder of this into the oil just to, just to use it, you know what I mean? But it definitely helped, the eight ounces I think is enough. If you don't have any oil additive and you wanna put a good amount in your oil, you can get the 16 ounce put two ounces in your power steering fluid and throw the other uh, 14 ounces in your oil or whatever it says on the back, however many. Let's see what this says per oil. So for adding to your oil, this says 1.2 ounces per quart. So these 7.3s are 15 quart. They take 15 quarts of oil. So you're gonna add 1.2 ounce per quart. That's not quite 15, that's you know maybe 14 ounces. So that actually works out perfect. If you don't have an engine oil additive already and you wanna add something, you can get the 16 ounce bottle, add two ounces to your power steering and add four ounce, 14 ounces to your engine oil and that'll be perfect. Uh, the This eight ounce one was, was 30. I don't remember how much the 16 ounce uh, one was, but if you're interested in the eight ounce one, the link to it will be down in the description so you guys can check it out there. Oh dang, there's a truck there. I couldn't even tell. <laughs> Can't even see that thing, man. Man, I so badly want to go to Harbor Freight and buy a new American flag for the flagpole holder, which, which is not even on because I don't have a flag for it right now. I haven't been rocking the flag on the truck for a while, but I really badly want to want to rock the flagpole. But we're we're on a we're social distancing right now, so I'm not going into Harbor Freight. We'll have to wait. So we've put even a few more miles on the truck, you guys, just driving around, and I swear the steering's getting easier and easier. And not only that, we're at a red light right now, but I'll show you guys in a second. Even while driving, not only is the steering easier, but I feel like the power steering pump is doing a better job of keeping the steering wheel straight. And so when I hit bumps, it doesn't kick the steering wheel as much as it did before, and everything's just staying more straight. It wasn't terrible before, but there was some play. If I hit bumps, it, it would kick. Uh, just because the power steering pump, you know, didn't have as much power. Well, you know what I mean. It, it was uh, harder for the power steering pump to keep the wheels straight. But now that we added that friction modifier and the steering is easier and the power steering pump is working better with less friction, less resistance, uh, it even seems to be holding straight better when I'm driving down the road. So I'm pretty happy with that stuff. It was worth it. You know, 30 bucks, add, add a couple ounces and we can tell a difference for sure. All right, you guys, that's pretty much it for this video, but wait, please don't leave. Don't click off this video just yet. I have a huge favor to ask you guys, but it will be easy, completely free. It won't cost you a cent, but it'll be huge for me. I am trying to get a collaboration going with D-Max Rhino. D-Max Rhino was a huge inspiration for me to start my YouTube channel. And a big reason I make my videos is trying to motivate people to work hard and chase their dreams to accomplish their goals and i would just really like to be featured on his channel now i've tried commenting on his videos a couple times but he has so many viewers and commenters he doesn't always see my comments so what i would ask for you guys to do is next time you see dmax rhino upload a video right away hit up that comment section and tell him he needs to collab with me cody from adhd projects it's currently the first weekend of april and i'm hoping to upload this video by monday april 6th so if you're seeing it that day you know please help me out hit that comment section up when he uploads his next video if you're seeing it way after that you're probably either too late or or maybe I've even made my video with him by then, I don't know. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment down below. And of course, as always, check out nohalfassapparel.com and I'll catch you guys on the next video.